Hi everybody, Liz from Apple Toolbox here. Like me, many of you try to use Wi-Fi whenever you can when connecting your iPhone or iPad to the internet. But there are times when we just don't have access to Wi-Fi and we have no choice but to connect using our mobile carrier's data plan. We all know it's a good idea to keep an eye on our data use, but how exactly do we do that? In this video, I'm going to walk us through some tips on how to track our data, and we'll look at changing some settings to limit our cellular data usage. So let's get to it. First, it's really important to see on our device how much data we are actually using. So go to settings, and select cellular. Scroll down until you see your cellular data usage. This gives you a real-time picture of your current data use. If that number is getting a little too close to your limit, there are a few things we can do to limit how your device uses your data plan. One of the easiest things to do is limit which apps use cellular data. Stay in the cellular menu and scroll down to the section Use Cellular Data For. Here, you turn on and off each app's ability to connect to cellular data. All your apps are listed, so you get to decide by sliding to the right to turn on or sliding to the left to turn off. If you're worried about your data use, it's a good idea to turn off some of your data hogs like the App Store, FaceTime, Photos, maybe even Google Maps, and any other app that you normally use when only connecting via Wi-Fi. Another feature to check is Wi-Fi Assist. This feature connects you automatically to cellular when the Wi-Fi connection is bad. You may want to turn this feature off, especially if you are nearing your data limit. Next, let's adjust any push notifications that might use cellular data. I really dislike notifications. They interrupt me too much, so I tend to have these off. To adjust your notifications, go to Settings and select Notifications. At the top of the menu, look under Notification Style and select an app. To turn notifications off, slide the Allow notification to the left and off position. Decide which notifications are important to you. Leave those on. Turn all the rest off. One of the biggest invisible data hogs is Background App Refresh. This feature allows apps to update information automatically, even when they aren't actively running on screen. Great idea, but it uses data and it uses battery. Not good. So we really need to proactively manage this feature. Let's take a look at what apps are set to refresh. I'm guessing some of you will be surprised to see how many third-party apps are refreshing. To get there, go to Settings, select General, and select Background App Refresh. Here, we have the choice to either turn this feature completely off for all apps, or we can pick and choose which apps refresh. Choose whatever works for you. Take a close look and decide if you really need that app to continually refresh. If not, turn it off. It seems that I am constantly updating apps. I don't think a day goes by without the App Store showing some update is available. I love to update my apps, but really, this should only happen when I'm connected to Wi-Fi. So here's a real easy one. Go to Settings, scroll down to App and iTunes Stores, and turn cellular data off by sliding to the left and off position. That's it. Finally, if you are leaving your home country or if your carrier charges for data roaming, let's manage your data roaming feature. This is pretty straightforward. Go to Settings, select Cellular, 
and at the top of the menu, slide data roaming to the left and off position. I hope these tips help you better manage your data plan and avoid those outrageous overage charges. Let us know in the comments if you like this video. Also, check out the link in the description to our article for more tips on how to control and limit cellular data use. Thanks for watching this video and remember to subscribe to Apple Toolbox to get all our latest videos. And that's a wrap. Have a good one.